Hi, Safety Steve here, and we want to kind of give you some basic information on the risers that you may have in your facility. How do I know what it is? How do I know what it does? One of the quick things that you can do when you're dealing with Silco Fire and Security is you can look at our tag that's on the risers, and it'll kind of tell you which system it is, and you can see this is a wet system. A wet system is basically I have water all the way through, all the way to my sprinkler heads. So when the sprinkler head has uh, a burst or it basically heats up and that's what makes it burst, there's water right here all the way through the system, but we wouldn't want to have this system in an area where we could have a freeze. That's a dry system. Let's take a look at that. All right, so here we have a dry valve. This one's pretty simple to know that because it's right here on the front of the valve. But again, it's also on our tag that it's a dry valve as well. So here we have all air on the top of our valve and all water on the bottom of our valve. But let's take a closer look at what we're really talking about here. So on the inside of our valve, we have a little bit of a battle. We have so much air pressure and that's what's holding this down and it doesn't let the water pass. But if I have a sprinkler head burst, then my air pressure goes down, it loses the battle, it pops this open, and now I have water coming all the way through my system. So now we're back at this riser here, and you can see, again, the valve is inside here. I have all air on the top and all water on the bottom here. And this is my air pressure gauge here as well. My water pressure gauge is here. You're going to have these types of systems in areas where you don't want water to freeze. A freezer, outside areas, uh, anything like that that's going to have issues with freezing, we want to have a dry valve there. We talked about a wet valve and a dry valve, and when a sprinkler head breaks, you're going to get water very quickly. This is a pre-action valve that you may have in your building. This pre-action valve is going to be over something very high dollar in your building, and let's just say it's a computer room. So even if I have a sprinkler head break on this system, I'm still going to need something else to happen before I get water flowing into that room. And this is a good identifier for this system as well is because I have a panel that's going to be associated with this valve so that I can hook up a heat detector, a smoke detector, something else that needs to happen inside of my room because I don't want water in that room until it's absolutely necessary. So that's why we might have a pre-action valve inside of your facility as well.